March 5, 2014, Wednesday. I brought this dog for an x-ray at one of the vet practices. And uh, every time I brought these dogs in, in this uh, carrier, the dog will escape out. So I thought of buying a new cage, but uh, the old nurse, old experienced nurse at the vet practice where I went to take the dog for x-ray, had a simple solution, just tie the two ends of the two half, not too tightly, otherwise the door can't open and not too loosely. The two ends, the upper and lower ends of this carrier cage and the dog can't push out the door anymore. And that is such a simple solution which despite my 30 over years experience in vet medicine, I have not thought of it. So as you can see, many things can be learned from others. Nobody knows everything. Now this young, this uh, old veteran nurse who works for this oldest vet in Singapore, around 70 years, oldest living small animal practitioner in Singapore, had many experiences since she worked quite long with this uh, most hardworking vet in Singapore. So I asked her what happened to that bull, bull dog which had a big tumor uh, as big as a golf ball behind the, the ears. I saw the operation being done by the senior vet at uh, last week when I went there for x-ray and uh, he told me Yes, the tumor was removed without any problem or bleeding because what happened is it was done by blunt dissection. As the senior vet dissects, she will apply the electrosurgery to cauterize the vessel. And so slowly and slowly, the whole off board tumor, which is said to be malignant, was removed. I didn't stay long enough to see the end of the surgery, so I asked her how long it took. She said two hours and no bleeding at all. So this is one of those uh, surgeries which I would say that electrosurgery or electrocautery in stages would be most useful and there must be patience. Yeah. The vet must have patience because two hours is really a long time to remove a golf ball tumor from behind the ears. It's more behind the ears, the lower end of the ear flat. I also met a vet who was so angry with the, with the cat owner. And uh, from the tone of voice, she was telling the owner that the cat would die unless immediate surgery would be done as the lungs had collapsed. Uh, the owner didn't really want to do it because of the cost. So I told this younger vet, young vet, why do you get yourself woke up so much? I mean the cat's owner does not want to do it due to it. financial reasons and she can't guarantee that even with the surgery to release the air from this ruptured lungs the cat will leave so I say why don't you just pay for the for the surgery instead or the owner will ask you why don't you just pay for it she said no the owner didn't ask her to do that I take it very personally, she said. Well, sometimes we do take it personally when the owner doesn't want to 
treat the, cat, the sick cat or in an emergency. I had a case where the owner refused blood tests to find out what's the cause of vomiting for this old beggar of seven years. And uh, so the diagnosis was not really conclusive, although I did palpate anterior abdominal pain in this beagle which vomited who vomited seven days every day and uh, I did a blood test which I don't charge the owner since he doesn't want it neither did he want x-ray the blood test showed liver disorder and there would have been a reason why the dog kept vomiting there are many cases including diabetes where the owner simply does not want any further treatment and uh, we have to be aware of such cases and not get too work up. There was another vet who wrote to all the vets about a nasty owner. So that has to warn the other vets. In my opinion, I told the vet's sister, this might cause her trouble later on for libel and uh, it would not be good if she had to employ a lawyer to defend herself so these are the things in life which we have to moderate ourselves control our anger because it's just not possible to solve everything living in a city there are many Singaporeans who are very easily stressed and angry. So it's about time we have to learn how to control ourselves and manage our anger. March 52014 to our vets.